The CDC call outlined what they've learned about the illness, now found in at least 24 states and 10 countries around the world. According to the briefing, multi-system inflammatory syndrome in children, or MIS-C, is thought to develop about four weeks after exposure to COVID-19. Many of those children never showing any symptoms caused directly by the virus. But weeks later, a majority of cases are presenting with a fever and gastrointestinal symptoms, believed to be caused by an abnormal immune response to the virus. 15-year-old Dariana Dyson developed stomach pain and a rash around Mother's Day. She tested positive for COVID antibodies. A few days later, she was dead. Now one of four children to die here in the U.S. People need to really understand that this kills me. In New York City alone, there are now 147 suspected cases. I think it's going to get much worse before it gets better. I think that's the tip of the iceberg. But this morning, there is also hope. The CDC says hospitals are having success with some treatments, including immunotherapy and steroids used to calm an overactive immune response. It's what doctors in Louisiana used on 12-year-old Juliet Daly, who went into cardiac arrest before responding to treatment. She's now out of the hospital, and at her latest checkup, showed no signs of permanent heart damage. How dramatic was Juliet's turnaround? She came in, in you know, really near death. Um, within a matter of days, um, we were able to get her off the ventilator, breathing on her own, get her out of the hospital within 10 days. Her family now hoping Juliet's story can help pave the way for others.